Chapter 1 The Age of Great Cultivation You are listening at NovelFull.audio In modern cultivation theory, whether it's the so.called true energy or inner energy, they're all bioenergy. They don't emerge out of thin air. Unless you can break through the bridge connecting heaven and earth and become an innate stage powerhouse who can absorb the energy in the air, the true energy that's produced through your current cultivation is the energy coming from your body. When your true energy is exhausted, it means you used up your body's energy. If you don't replenish it in time, your body will wither. At Calm Ocean City's number 13 high school's class 11, a man of approximately 30 years of age was speaking. His neat, black clothes were those of a martial artist. There was a huge mat in the middle of the classroom and he stood at its center. There were over 50 youths sitting around him, all students of class 11. They were both male and female, and most appeared to be about 16 or 17. Every one of them was dressed in martial arts attire. Among the students, there was a young man who looked around 15 or 16 sitting in a rather secluded corner. He seemed muscular but had a delicate face. Of all the students, he was quite ordinary and inconspicuous. Chu Yunfan stared at the man in the middle. He was Class 11's martial arts coach, Qin Wu. Rumor had it that he retired from the military's special forces. He had contributed a lot while serving, but nobody knew why he retired out of nowhere and began teaching at Number 13 High School. He was basically the only one who taught everything about cultivation. Therefore, people in the past said that those who are poor would study academically while the rich practice martial arts. Why were the rich the only ones who would practice martial arts? Qin Wu paused as he spoke. He pointed at a student and said, Tell me, why is that? The student was stunned for a moment. He then replied, because the process of practicing martial arts involves exhausting one's blood essence continuously. If they were using it up without replenishing it, they would soon perish. Supplements such as ginseng and ganoderma were expensive in the past. Ordinary people couldn't afford that at all. That's right. Although there have been people studying martial arts since the common era, there were very few of them. They were rare until the Kunlun era. After humans discovered the Kunlun realm and the ancient zenith civilization, both technology and martial arts advanced tremendously. For instance, ginseng and ganoderma older than 10 years or even 100 years can be mass-produced easily now. They're being served on the dining tables of regular people. That's how the age of great cultivation came about, enabling each and every one of us to practice martial arts. Qin Wu declared while nodding. At that moment, what Chun Yunfan learned of the Kunlun era's past from history class popped into his head. Centuries ago, in the year 2035 of the Common Era, a huge sword gleam tore through the sky and penetrated the universe, before finally landing in the Atlantic Ocean. The entire globe was struck by a massive disaster. Countless countries were obliterated, and people cried out all over. Humanity's population dropped to less than a billion most of them being Chinese. Accordingly, they started the Chinese Renaissance. Due to the catastrophe, half of the planet was destroyed, so humans began searching for another home. Eventually, they found a vast and endless realm on the other side of the tear created by the sword gleam. It was the Kunlun realm. Thus, humanity entered the Kunlun era. They later discovered that humans were not the only beings inhabiting the Kunlun realm. Some formidable creatures were living there too. Due to the presence of spirit energy, the continent had many incredible monsters living on it. Despite mastering advanced technology, humankind could not defeat the legion of monsters. Some of the powerful ones could not even be killed with nuclear bombs. Under such circumstances, not being able to move to the Kunlun realm aside, they fought to the border of both realms. The monsters even invaded the humans' camp, the planet Earth itself. At that point, the human immigrants found out about the ancient zenith civilization that once existed in the Kunlun realm. It had a system that was the complete opposite of what the humans on Earth used. It was the martial Tao system that could be used to fight monsters by cultivating one's body. 
All of that sounded exactly like the alternate world in mysterious fantasy novels from many years ago. As more and more records of the ancient Zenith civilization were discovered, including records of many of the system's techniques, the travelers from Earth began the age of great cultivation. With the power of martial artists and advanced technology, humans began to stand tall in the Kunlun realm instead of being annihilated by the monsters. Nevertheless, the humans were constantly at risk of being attacked. The cities they built were in danger of destruction, leaving hundreds of thousands, millions, or even tens of millions dead. Such tragedies had happened many times throughout the centuries. Meanwhile, Calm Ocean City's number 13 high school on Earth was a very ordinary high school among the dozens of them in the city. Since the cataclysmic disaster, most of the environments on Earth were no longer habitable for humans. Therefore, the overall living situation had been extremely chaotic since the Common Era, leading to the formation of ten major base cities. Each base city had a population of up to 100 million. There were still over a billion people on Earth, and none of them had entered the Kunlun realm yet. The swarms of monsters in the Kunlun realm made it too dangerous for regular humans. Although many creatures on Earth had mutated after the disaster, causing them to turn into monsters, they had only been in that state for hundreds of years. Such a relatively short period meant they were much weaker than the monsters of the Kunlun realm. Calm Ocean City was one of the satellite cities under one of the ten base cities. Donghua City Though it could not compare with Donghua City's population of up to 100 million, it was home to up to 10 million inhabitants. In any case, humans were much stronger overall compared to what they had been centuries ago. Back then, only a few people had the privilege of being able to cultivate and they were rare. In modern times, the Federation government tried its best to get everyone to cultivate to fight those fearsome monsters. Just as Coach Chin Wu said, talent was not the sole factor in cultivation. The right environment, partners, methods, and money were required. None of them should be lacking. The process of practicing martial arts was especially harmful to one's body. If one did not replenish what had been exhausted, it was normal for one to die when they were still strong at 30 or 40 years old. The better the fighter, the faster they would expire. All of you must understand, the source of the so called true energy is actually your own bioenergy. The higher the level of cultivation your body achieves, the more true energy will be produced. Even if you guys have the opportunity to reach a higher level, the cultivation of the body is still the source. Qin Wu stood with his hands behind his back, straight as a rifle, like he was going to pierce the sky. In Poem of Striking the Hexagram Lines written by the cultivation master, Lu the Progenitor, during the feudal period, he mentioned that the first problem of cultivation is only developing one's mind instead of one's life. It means that it's wrong to cultivate one's Tao instead of cultivating one's body. One should cultivate both wisdom and life. Chu Yunfan nodded and recalled the cultivation knowledge that he learned at school before. The path of cultivation was long. Since the ancient Zenith civilization was discovered, those cultivators went through years of discovery and categorized all stages of cultivation. The first one would be the physical stage. The physical stage was the mandatory path when one journeyed into Martial Dao. Getting to the peak of Martial Dao was like crossing an endless ocean and one's physical body was the boat. The more powerful one's physique, the higher the chances of getting to the other side. Therefore, Training one's physical body was the foundation of martial Tao. That was why it was called the physical stage. In turn, the physical stage was divided into nine minor stages or tiers. Muscle training, bone strengthening, skin refinement, tendon tuning, inner strengthening, joint popping, blood renewal, internal observation, and qi nourishment. One could only claim to have a foundation built after cultivating the physical stage to perfection. As the body needed to absorb more true energy for inner circulation, a more powerful physique was required. After one got to the ninth tier of the physical stage, qi nourishment, and then absorbed a mouthful of true energy, a qi si would be activated in their dantian. Their qi si would allow them to absorb endless true energy. 
This was known as the Qi C stage. After the Qi C stage came the acquired stage, the innate stage, and more, but Chu Yunfan did not know much about them. After all, many teachers at the number 13 high school were only at the Qi C stage. There were only a few innate stage powerhouses in all of Donghua City. I know that most of you will be taking the year.end exam in a month, and you guys probably won't be able to get into the martial arts stream but the liberal arts stream. I want all of you to understand that successful cultivation aside, all of you will have to depend on your personal cultivation to be able to live a long healthy life in the future. Qin Wu scanned everyone in class as he proceeded. During the common era, people only lived for a few decades on average. Nobody got to 100. Why was that? It was because their bodies were weak, and they were in an unhealthy state for a long time. What else would they expect? On the other hand, everyone in the modern Kunlun era is a cultivator. The average lifespan has surpassed 100 years, and some can even live to 120. That's the advantage of practicing martial arts. Hearing Qin Wu mention the martial arts stream and liberal arts stream, Chu Yunfan could not help but turn rather gloomy. Although everyone wanted to cultivate, there were levels to human capability. According to number 13 high school standards, those who reached tier point 7 physical stage before taking the year 3 exam had great potential and would be put into the martial arts stream. Meanwhile, those of ordinary ability would be placed in the liberal arts stream. Before the stream division, the curriculum included half liberal arts and half martial arts. It was rather balanced, but it would change as soon as they went into separate streams. As the name suggested, those who went into the martial arts stream would have an appropriate reduction in lessons about the liberal arts and would spend more time cultivating. Meanwhile, though the students in the liberal arts stream would not stop cultivating entirely, their cultivation time would be restricted. They would be preoccupied with studying the liberal arts in order to get into a university in the future. After that, they would work 9.5 jobs just like common folk. As passionate young people, most of them desired to be capable martial artists. Beyond the magnificent abilities and stature they could gain, it was easier for martial artists to make a living compared to liberal arts graduates destined to work at fixed-income jobs. Whether by joining the government departments, the military, or becoming some company's monster. Killing mercenary, the graduates from the martial arts stream would have higher incomes. Furthermore, the outstanding ones could go to the Kunlun realm to study at one of the nine martial arts saint lands, becoming supreme powerhouses whose names would be renowned throughout the world. However, reality was cruel, so not everyone had the gift for cultivation. Most people's talents were mundane, and it was difficult for them to pick it up. Only students that showed the appropriate aptitude would be chosen to be trained properly in the martial arts stream. Meanwhile, Chu Yunfan was a young man with little to show. He had only reached tier point five physical stage during his senior year. Never mind comparing him to those who could get into the martial arts stream, he was considered ordinary even among those fated to be placed in the liberal arts stream. All right, that's all for today's class. It's best that you guys don't skip tomorrow's lesson, as I'll be demonstrating a martial skill for real combat. If you miss it, I won't be teaching it again. Understood. Qin Wu asked all the students while looking at them. Understood. Their eyes lit up as they replied. Chapter 2 Obtaining an inheritance in a dream you are listening at novel full .audio. Many students' eyes were beaming. They could not help but be excited. On the path of cultivation, inner energy was the source of everything. The best time to build their foundation was before they had matured. The better the foundation, the better it was for their future. This was especially true before they were divided into different streams prior to their senior year. They would only have the opportunity to get into the martial arts stream if they reached tier point seven physical stage. Cultivating martial skills would take up time that they could use to cultivate inner energy. This would reduce their chances of getting into the martial arts stream. Thus, many parents spoke out in earlier years, requesting the school remove classes that taught martial skills. 
this was to prevent their children from being distracted and wasting time. Moreover, these students would live in base cities before they became adults. There were practically no dangers there, so it was quite useless for them to learn martial skills. However, it was different now. In a month's time, they would have the year.end exam. One's fate could be considered set by then. Those who were eligible for the martial arts stream would be placed there and there was nothing that those who failed could do by then. Inner energy was just half of martial Tao cultivation. The remaining half would be the cultivation of martial skills. Even with a lower cultivation base, a martial artist who mastered martial skills could defeat one who had not. Therefore, the cultivation of martial skills was important as well. Nobody would neglect that. Naturally, not everyone neglected martial skill cultivation, so it was not an obligation. Those who were gifted might have already begun to cultivate martial skills. Chu Yunfan's eyes scanned his numerous classmates. As expected, many seemed unaffected. They must have cultivated martial skills before. Not only that, those students pretty much consisted of the most gifted ones in their class. They were the ones who could get into the martial arts stream, so even the weakest one was at tier 0.7 physical stage. In any case, Chu Yunfan was still excited. He had not studied martial skills since young. He knew it was easy for one to learn martial skills and low dot level ones were taught online if one was willing to pay. Nonetheless, he suppressed his impulse. One of the reasons for this was that he knew he was not gifted. He did not even have enough time to meditate and practice martial arts. If he spent time cultivating martial skills, he would have no hope of getting into the martial arts stream. The other reason was that he did not want to waste money since the school would cover it sooner or later. Qin Wu left right after dismissing the class. He did not want to delay and was unwilling to waste his time there. Dot the entire class instantly started chatting. Many were discussing what kind of martial skill Qin Wu would teach the next day. After all, most had never learned one before, so it made sense that they were eager. After talking for a little bit, everyone got up and began to pack their bags. The class had finished for the day, so they were going home. Chu Yunfan got up and started packing his bag in the corner. With another day done, he was ready to go home. Tap, tap, tap. There was a series of footsteps coming from a plump young man who was the same age as Chu Yunfan. The normally loose martial arts uniform was so tight on him that it seemed like it would rip. Although he appeared chubby, in reality, his footfall was light. He was running quickly, but he was not flushed nor was his heart pounding. He had definitely cultivated. This was one of Chu Yunfan's few good friends, Gao Hongji. He was tall, rich, and portly. He knew his friend very well. He trained and was much stronger than Chu Yunfan, having reached tier 0.9 physical stage. Although he was one of the outstanding students who would certainly get into the martial arts stream, he usually behaved exactly as people would expect. He would sit if he was not required to stand and would move as little as he could. His weight was due to genetics, but everyone could not help thinking that it was because he was lazy. Both of them were very different when it came to their families and talents. Typically, the duo would have had parallel lives and not talked to each other. Instead, their shared interests led to them become good friends during their two years in high school. A portion of the ancient Zenith Relics traveling exhibition from the Academy of Sciences is being exhibited at our school. Aren't you interested in the ancient Zenith civilization? Why don't we give it a look? Gao Hongji asked. Relics from the ancient Zenith civilization. Sure, let's check it out. Gao Hongji's words had piqued Chu Yunfan's interest. It was crowded when both of them arrived at the space the school had vacated for the exhibition. Although Calm Ocean City's number 13 high school was an ordinary school among the dozens of high schools in the city, the teachers and students numbered up to 10,000. It was like a small town, so one could imagine how congested it was with everyone going to the exhibition. 
Since the disaster, excavation and recovery of the ancient Zenith civilization's research had become the main function of their entire society. The government would continuously exhibit the less important relics of the ancient Zenith civilization everywhere. The ancient Zenith civilization relics that were exhibited in the traveling exhibition at Number no. 13 High School were just a small portion of the whole collection. Chu Yunfan and Gao Hongji slowly moved with the crowd. Chu Yunfan stared at the items locked within the tempered glass. There were stone inscriptions from the ancient Zenith civilization, broken weapons, and so on. Although they were historical relics, in reality, they were not of great value. There were descriptions written in a strange and complicated script in front. That text was from the ancient Zenith civilization, but it was not difficult for the students to read. This was because learning the language became mandatory after the ancient Zenith civilization was discovered when humanity entered the Kunlun era. It was like Chinese students learning English in the Common Era. The language appeared very similar to the seal script that was common in China's past. There were pictographs as well. It was much simpler compared to the system of the English language. Since the scripts were similar, historiographers had always assumed there was a relationship between ancient China and the ancient Zenith civilization of the Kunlun realm. They just had yet to verify it. Over the centuries, thousands of frequently used ancient seal characters had been translated. Although there were still many unusual characters that had yet to be translated, one could easily read and understand the regular characters now. Chu Yunfan stared as if he was window shopping. Although these were historical relics, he had seen them many times on the internet. The pictures of relics printed in their textbooks were similar to these, so they were nothing new to him. It was just that he was looking at the real thing. Suddenly, he saw a massive picture scroll hovering above an ancient sword on one of the exhibition platforms. The scroll had a landscape painting with a mountain and a river. The splashes of ink were bold and majestic. Although it was a painting, it made Chu Yunfan feel as if heaven and earth had been printed on it. It seemed rather unbelievable, as it was merely an ink painting. Old Gao, is that painting part of the exhibition as well? Chu Yunfan pointed at the landscape painting on the exhibition platform. The ancient Zenith civilization was at least tens of thousands of years in the past. Such a lengthy period of time would have been enough to wipe out everything. Despite that, the landscape painting looked like it had just been completed. Although Chu Yunfan had a weak cultivation base, he knew that such a thing was commonly found when excavating the ancient civilization. It was like a unique energy barrier made these artifacts appear as good as new even after tens of millennia. These things could basically be categorized as magic tools. Even magic tools that were restored with modern technology would cost at least a million or even tens of millions, let alone extremely ancient magic tools that had been preserved since the ancient Zenith civilization. Their value was astronomical. How could such a thing be exhibited so casually at a school? The total value of all of the exhibition items was nothing compared to that painting. What painting? Gao Hongji's reaction shocked Chu Yunfan. What kind of joke was that? How could he not see such a huge work of art? I don't see it. You shouldn't stop taking your meds. Gao Hongji patted Chu Yunfan's shoulder tellingly. He spoke as if he had rehearsed the words, We men must take care of our bodies. Look at you. You're hallucinating. Get lost. Shu. Chu Yunfan really had the urge to step on Gao Hongji's chubby face. When he looked again, the painting was still hovering above the ancient sword. Oddly, when he glanced around, nobody seemed to notice. Apparently, he was the only one that could see it. Am I really hallucinating? Even Chu Yunfan was a little unsure of himself at that point. Furthermore, he could not confirm anything when there was a crowd between him and the painting. Suddenly, the painting turned into a ray of light and beamed at him. It penetrated his mind instantly. Bang! It was like something had exploded in Chu Yunfan's head, leaving him no time to react. He felt like countless lights were glowing inside him. 
His entire body was in intense pain, as if every single cell was erupting and being torn apart. Meanwhile, many images rushed into his head. It was like he was dreaming, but it was very real. In the dream, he was another person. It was a dazzling world with many emperors. Its civilization was magnificent beyond imagination. It had conquered epoch after epoch, sweeping through numerous dimensions and subduing countless nations. Meanwhile, he was a genius alchemist. He had started refining medicinal pills when he was five and was familiar with medicine by the time he was ten. He was already well known as the alchemy master when he was fifteen. At age twenty, he began traveling the world, and he became the alchemy king, fawned over by all, when he was twenty-five. When he turned thirty, he had become the alchemy emperor, a title that none would ever attain again. Not only had he mastered the inherited knowledge of alchemy from the people of the past, but he also went on to create new treatments, making alchemy one of the world's most prominent fields. Even emperors wanted the medicinal pills he refined. Countless people would fight for any pills that he released to the public. At that point, one could say that his life had reached its peak, and he was a proud young man because of that. Everything changed when a picture scroll descended from the sky during that war. It caused many emperors of that era to fight over it. The reason for the conflict was that there was a godhead in the picture scroll. It was something that could make anyone a god, as well as grant immortality and the ability to travel to the other realm. Therefore, the alchemy emperor participated in the war too. It was a terrifying battle, a clash of gods and devils. There were countless figures fighting intensely in the sky. All of them were unbelievably powerful, like demons. They could do anything, catch the stars and the moon, turn rivers and seas over. Though the figures on the battlefield were so incredibly formidable, they were blurry and their faces could not be seen clearly. One of them was magnificent, capable of fighting up to a hundred demons on his own. His face was obscured as well. One could only see his pair of golden eyes, as deep as if there was a universe hidden inside them. The force as they opened and closed was earth-shattering. As the battle intensified, most of the monstrously powerful figures were dead. It was finally the time for the grand figure with the golden eyes to shine. The world was collapsing everywhere. Although the alchemy emperor had put away the godhead in the landscape painting that came into his possession by accident, he had been attacked by many emperors. Not being proficient in martial Tao, he was soon killed. At that point, the replayed images abruptly stopped. Chu Yunfan suddenly woke up from the boundless dream. Chapter 3 A difficult family situation you are listening at novel full dot audio. Everything was like a dream, and how much time had gone by was unknown. Perhaps a mere second had passed or maybe 10,000 years. Chu Yunfan finally woke up from the endless vision. Ha, ha, ha. Chu Yunfan could not stop panting. It was a brief moment, but he felt as if his entire life had passed him by and he had entered another life when he woke up. It was like he had experienced everything in the dream himself, from the uncertainty of learning to refine medicinal pills in the beginning, to bathing in glory when he became a well-known alchemy master, then the glow of the limelight when he became the alchemy emperor, and at last, his death in the end. He felt each and every scenario very clearly. It was as if he was really in the ancient era, witnessing the earth-shattering war himself. Ednel.co It was a dusk of many gods. The magnificent powerhouses that had been slain were like flowers strewn all over the ground. Chu Yunfan had no idea how powerful the greatest of the modern human powerhouses were. After all, his level was so low. Nevertheless, his instinct told him that even the best of them could not compare to those monstrous warriors in his dream. The elite warriors of modern times claimed that they could not be killed by nuclear bombs. That was beyond imagination during the common era. However, nobody had ever heard of anyone being able to turn rivers and oceans over nor the ability to capture the stars and the moon. That must have been the ancient zenith civilization. Chu Yunfan recalled the images in the dream. 
the characters that those people used were indeed the ancient seal script. In any case, he did not know why that world's glorious battle, along with the experiences of the alchemy emperor and his memories, had been preserved within the landscape painting. All of them had rushed into his head at once. He concluded that it was definitely not a dream. How could a dream be so vivid? He could not even imagine how formidable such powerhouses were. Although he had never experienced it, that did not mean that he did not understand it. The ancient zenith civilization had many secrets hidden in it that had yet to be uncovered. Historiographers speculated that the ancient zenith civilization was a great world of Marshall Dao. They could see this from the many things they excavated related to Marshall Dao. Nonetheless, they definitely could not envision what a wonderful world it was. After entering the Kunlun era, the revival of Marshall Dao had begun. That being said, it had only been hundreds of years by any measure. Judging by the ancient zenith records that had been excavated so far, their civilization had been going strong for tens of millennia. In any case, he had his questions. How could the incredible ancient zenith civilization disappear just like that? That was still an unsolved mystery for historians. From what they learned in the documents that had been discovered, the ancient zenith civilization did not wane gradually but vanished overnight. What was the secret behind it? Could it be related to the massive war in his memory? Chu Yunfan felt that something had been added to his body. That was why his thoughts were clearer than ever. Everything he saw was brighter than before, as if all that lay between heaven and earth had become more vivid and slightly altered. The change was quite obvious. He could feel it within him even without having to search for it intentionally. It was as if there was energy filling his entire person. Hey, what are you thinking about? Gao Hongji asked. You've been standing still for a while. Were you in a trance? Quick, let's go home. Gao Hongji's voice pulled Chu Yunfan back from the dreamy, flourishing age. He turned to look around and saw the students leaving. The sun was setting and shadows stretched across the floor. It's nothing. Chu Yunfan shook his head. In the end, he had decided to bury the dream he had had deep in his heart without telling anyone. Why do I feel like you're different now? Gao Hongji said as he stared at Chu Yunfan. He had a vague feeling that his good friend had changed, but he could not tell what was different about him. He just had the sense that his friend had gone through a complete transformation, as if his soul had been renewed. Am I more handsome now? Ah, I just can't help it. I've been good that looking since I was born. Chu Yunfan snickered. Get lost. I see that you're getting more and more shameless. Gao Hongji said with a frown. The strange feeling that he had vanished entirely. All right, stop your nonsense. Let's go home. Chu Yunfan replied. He could tell that his body was different now. Impatient, he was eager to go home to find out what exactly had happened to him. As usual, a flying car took Gao Hongji away as soon as he got through the school door. In the Kunlun era, petrol was no longer used for cars. It had been replaced by energy blocks, a fuel that produced no pollution. Moreover, as the anti-dot gravity system was widely used, cars were flying instead of driving on the ground. It was far grander than the vehicles in the common era. Meanwhile, Chu Yunfan had to walk a short distance to take the bus. It was very popular to own a car during the common era, so many people had them back then. Conversely, in the Kunlun era, Cars had been upgraded into airborne vehicles, and the price had invariably shot up. Regular people could not afford that, so public transportation had become more advanced than ever. The bus was extremely fast, and within about 20 minutes, Chu Yunfan had arrived home. It was a rather quiet neighborhood with some tall buildings. All sorts of security measures could be seen starting from outside of the community. In the common era, such a place was beyond the means of most, but it became the residence of ordinary people during the Kunlun era. The wealthy would live in the villa areas which were far superior both in terms of environment and safety. 
It was even said that people had set up a formation in the villa areas to gather spirit energy using the knowledge of formations left behind by the ancient zenith civilization. It had caused the spirit energy in the villa areas to be much denser than the common areas. It was just as thick as the spirit energy in the Kunlun realm. Everyone knew that the more spirit energy there was, the greater the benefits to the human body. Breathing spirit energy of such thickness could subtly improve one's physique without even having to cultivate, allowing them to live an extremely long life. It would be even better if one was to cultivate, as it would guarantee accelerated growth in one's cultivation base. Those born and bred in such an environment had higher chances of advancing in life compared to the common folk. The polarized disparity among humans of modern times was extremely obvious. The door finally opened after he entered the password, pressed his thumbprint, and scanned his face. A house of approximately 100 square meters welcomed him. It was considered average dot sized. Mom, Dad, Sister, I'm home. Chu Yunfan entered the house after removing his shoes. You're home. Sit down. Dinner will be served soon. We'll eat when your dad gets here. A pretty woman of around 30 walked out of the kitchen. She was tall and had an apron tied around her waist and a warm smile on her face. Human longevity had improved greatly in the Kunlun era, so 30 years was equivalent to only 10 in the common era. This was Chu Yunfan's mother, Yang Yayun. Brother, you're home. A young lady's voice rang loud and clear along with the sound of wheels on the wooden floor. A girl of approximately 13 or 14 years of age came out of a room in an electric wheelchair. Though she appeared to be a teenager, her body seemed to be that of an 11 or 12. year. Old. She was at least a head shorter than most kids of her age. Below her waist, her legs were noticeably underdeveloped and were covered by a blanket. Chu Yunfan walked over and patted the young lady's head. She could not see the pain and strife flashing through his eyes. She was his sister, Chu Qingxian. She was the darling of the family as well as the sorrow in everyone's heart. Due to a congenital gene defect, her lower body had begun to shrivel gradually ever since she was born. For as long as any of them could remember, she could only move with the aid of a wheelchair. Her ill health led to her continuous weight loss, and her hair was rather dull as well. She was already 13 or 14, but she looked 11 or 12. In the Kunlun era, medical standards for humans were great. For instance, cancers, HIV, and heart diseases that were incurable in the common era were nothing but minor inconveniences in the Kunlun era. Despite that, congenital gene defects were a big issue. Although the technology to treat such illnesses had been invented years earlier, the cheapest treatment would cost up to 10 million federal coins. No matter how heartbroken the Chu family was over Chu Qingxuan's condition, there was nothing they could do. The family income depended on the parents, and they made 4,000 to 5,000 per month. It would only add up to around 10,000 with extra income. Even if they spent nothing on food, they could only afford the treatment after saving up for about a century. Moreover, just to remain in her current condition, Chu Qingxian had to consume a lot of medicine and replenish all sorts of nutrients. This was already a great expense. Therefore, if Chu Yunfan could not get into the martial arts stream, he would not consider going into a liberal arts university. He would have to join the workforce so that he could help to ease their burden. Although Chu Qingxian had had the problem since young and she could not even go to school, she was so sensible that it was heartbreaking. She knew that her family was in a difficult situation, so she would never request anything troubling. On the contrary, she would stay home every day to learn from the internet. She was not just on par with students in junior high, she had actually far surpassed them. She was talented, smart, and analytical. There was almost nothing that could leave her puzzled. Chu Yunfan would even go to her regarding some problems that he could not solve. If not for the burden of her body that stopped her from practicing martial arts, she would definitely be a genius that surpassed Chu Yunfan. She would be a well-known scientist if she was to study academically. 
that devastated Chu Yunfan even more. He would eagerly switch their situations if he could. He could practice martial arts, but whether martial arts or academics, his abilities were just too mediocre. He was nowhere near as talented as his sister. Brother, I found a job today. I'll be doing commentaries on battle videos live.streamed online. I already have many fans. I'll be making money, and I'll no longer be a burden to you guys. Chu Qingxuan's eyes widened as she excitedly told him this. How can you say that? You're not a burden to us. The more sensible Chu Qingxian was, the worse Chu Yunfan felt. He swore to himself that he would try his best to make enough money one day to treat his sister's congenital gene defect. Chapter 4 Genius and Good.4 Nothing you are listening at novel full audio. Why are you doing commentaries? Why would anyone want to hire a little girl like you? Chu Yunfan said with a smile, concealing his pain. The internet of the Kunlun era had become like the virtual world mentioned in the novels of the common era. Everything within it was exactly the same as the real world. There was no difference. With the previous limits of technology, it was impossible for humanity to enter such a virtual reality. As it was, according to historical records, humans had obtained a powerful artifact while venturing into the Kunlun realm. It was called the Virtual Realm. The entire network was built with the Virtual Realm at its core. That was the main reason the virtual world could be created. With everyone practicing martial arts, it was easy for one to get hurt when sparring in reality, but that would not happen online. Hence, there were all sorts of battles in cyberspace and even live streams. Fights between skilled masters would sell out and draw big crowds. As the popularity of live.streamed battles rose, naturally numerous commentators came out of it. Many experienced commentators could tell what kind of techniques the experts used at any given time. They could even speculate who would win among the fighters. In turn, such commentators would often gain a sizable fanbase with ease. The better their commentaries, the more money they would make. Brother, you're underestimating me. The online battle video that I commentated on has millions of views now. That's why there are live.stream websites that are willing to hire me to do live commentaries. Chu Qingxian said, failing to hold back her excitement. All right, go ahead then. I can't believe my sister has become an influencer now. It seems I shouldn't underestimate you in the future. Chu Yunfan said as he patted Chu Qingxuan's head. The idea seemed less strange as he thought about it. To be able to commentate on such battles, one would need excellent judgment in a variety of martial arts scenarios. Chu Qingxian had an exceptional talent for that. Although she could not cultivate, she was much more attentive than he was. She could continuously learn from the internet since she had nothing else to do all day. It was unfortunate that she could not cultivate, as she could certainly have reached the Qi C stage or even higher. Of course. You definitely shouldn't underestimate me. Chu Qingxian raised her dainty head. She was so cute, her proud little face resembling that of a victorious general. Suddenly, the door opened automatically and a tall figure walked in. He was a man who appeared to be in his thirties wearing a suit and leather shoes. Dad. Dad, you're home. The brother and sister exclaimed immediately. That man was the master of the Chu family, Chu Wencheng. Chu Wencheng was just an ordinary office worker in the Kunlun era. He was paid a few thousand coins each month, which was enough to cover the household expenses. He was rather tired, but he had a smile on his face when he saw his children. All of you are home. That's great. Let's eat. Yang Yayun walked out and served the dishes on the table one after another. Although it was homemade, a table full of dishes was expensive back in the common era. Ginseng, deer antlers, Ganoderma, and other supplements that were once rare could be harvested on a large scale now. They could mature quickly too, so the ginseng was at least a century old. Although it was done using technology, they were no different than if they had aged naturally. 
Without this development, the age of great cultivation where everyone was cultivating would not have been sustainable. Such eating habits had spread across tens of thousands of households. When they were halfway through their meal, Chu Wenqing suddenly said, Oh, yeah. There's something I almost forgot about. Big Brother sent me an invitation today, asking us to go to Yuntian's birthday party in a month. It's also to celebrate Yuntian getting into the martial arts stream. No, we're not going. Besides looking to squeeze more money out of us, he just wants to show off his son getting into the martial arts stream. Yang Yayun said plainly as she pushed her bowl away. Big Brother didn't mean it like that. Chu Wencheng could not help but hastily reply as he looked at his angry wife. He didn't mean it like that. Do you think I don't know what Big Brother and Sister Dot in Dot Law are like? All they want to do is to show off their son. How many times have they done that over the years? I just don't understand this, Chu Wencheng. You guys have the same father, so why is he like this? When your big brother's son was born, dad went back to the family himself to beg for a meridian cleansing pill to cleanse Yuntian's meridians. How about our Yun Fan? He was born just a few days after him. So what if he's not the first grandson of the first son? Is there anything left for us after all these years? With her pretty brows slightly creased, Yang Yayin went on, our Xian Xian has been in bad health since young. It's so hard to even ask dad for some money to treat her. However, your parents have spent so much on Yin Tian for years. They can't play favorites like that. Chu Wenqing smiled slightly and said, you know this family has been in the doghouse for a long time. We need to endure it now that we have someone as gifted as Yin Tian. My parents are just hoping that he will bring honor to our family. Gifted how? Would he have such a cultivation base if dad didn't beg for the meridian cleansing pill and spend hundreds of thousands buying all sorts of expensive herbs for him to soak his body in since he was a little? Yang Yayun could not help but say, Chu Wencheng, our family is already in a difficult situation. We don't have the money to treat Xian Xian, and your parents want you to lend money to your big brother. Over time, you've lent them over 300,000. Are we ever going to see that money again? Don't you see that they'll pay it back now? Not only is Yun Tian going into the martial arts stream, there's a tutor from Federation University who's interested in him. He guarantees that Yun Tian will get into the university. At that point, our family will benefit from his achievements. Chu Wencheng kept smiling as he spoke. Benefit. What kind of benefits are we getting? Big Brother has been looking down on us all this time. Now that this is happening, you're expecting us to benefit from it. Forget it. I've lost my appetite. Yang Yayun swiftly stood up, turned around, and left the room. Chu Wencheng went after her immediately. Sitting at the table, the siblings, Chu Yunfan and Chu Qingxian, looked as if they had gotten used to such occurrences. Chu Yunfan helped her to get a bowl of ginseng chicken soup and served himself another bowl of rice. It made sense that people who practiced martial arts had large appetites. That was why modern society was so abundant with supplies. Without them, no one would have enough energy. As it was, their words had caused a stir inside Chu Yunfan. That cousin of his, Chu Yuntian, born just a few days before him, was like a personal nightmare. Compared to Chu Yun Fan, with his mediocre abilities, Chu Yun Tian was very intelligent ever since he was born. He left all who met him stunned. To cleanse his meridians, his grandfather went to the Chu family's ancestral home to beg for a meridian cleansing pill that was worth up to 10 million coins. Thus, Chu Yun Tian performed extraordinarily since young, and his talent was outstanding. Given that the family bought all sorts of herbs for him to soak in ever since he was little, he cultivated extremely swiftly. Chu Yun Tian and Chu Yun Fan were of the same age, and both were in year three. That being the case, Chu Yun Fan went to the humble Calm Ocean City's number 13 high school, whereas Chu Yun Tian went to Donghua City's number one high school. It was the best school in the entire city, with countless geniuses and experts. 
even its worst student could get into one of the top schools in the Federation. The best batch could get into Federation University, ranked first among the top 10 schools. Chu Yuntian had just got to year 3, and a tutor from Federation University was interested in him. He guaranteed Chu Yuntian would get into the university. It was not an exaggeration to say that he brought honor to the Chu family. Federation University ranked first in the entire Federation, and it was backed by the Federation government. In all the world, those who got into the school were one in a million. They were the elite of the elite. To use a phrase from the feudal period, such a person would be a general in the field or a minister at court. Many officers in the military came from Federation University. More than half of the senior officers in the government came from there too, as well as famous people in all fields, including science, economics, and culture. They were innumerable. Getting into Federation University would ensure a bright future when one entered society. Meanwhile, Chu Yunfan, born merely a few days later than Chu Yuntian, was naturally going to be compared. More than once, he had been told to his face that all the best things the Chu family possessed were given to Chu Yuntian. Being born a few days later, he got nothing. He was worthless. Chu Yunfan was no weakling compared to regular people, but when he was juxtaposed with the genius Chu Yuntian, many saw him as a good. For. Nothing. Everyone had pride. Chu Yunfan was being compared and looked down on openly since childhood. How could he not be affected? It was just that he had learned to hide it and not show any emotion on his face. He did this because he knew the people who would get upset were not those who made fun of him but his parents who loved him the most. Chu Yunfan gazed at Chu Qingxian as he thought about this and pity filled his eyes. He was not gifted, but Chu Qingxian was different. She had tremendous talent. To him, she was no less than Chu Yuntian, but God was unfair. She was given an unusual congenital gene defect. There was nothing she could do about her gradually shrinking body no matter how capable she was. Chu Yunfan listened to the noise that came out of the room every now and then. He thought to himself, is dad really a coward? Did he truly just do what grandpa and big uncle commanded? Did he lend uncle money just because they asked him to? He accidentally found out about his father's plan before. He knew that he might never be able to make enough money to treat his sister. On the other hand, Chu Yintian's talents meant he was different. He would be one of humanity's elites in the future. Although 10 million was a lot, it should not be too much for Chu Yuntian at that point. If Chu Yuntian remembered what they had done for him and helped them, there would be hope for his sister's illness. This plan was the reason his father put away all of his pride, allowing grandpa and big uncle to push him around. No, I must change this. Chu Yunfan could not help but ball his hands into fists as he thought about this. He clenched his fists so tightly that his nails went pale and sunk into his flesh. He did not notice at all. After waiting for his sister to finish her dinner, Chu Yunfan sorted out the dishes and placed all of them in the dishwasher. With modern technology, there was no need for them to do the dishes, a chore just as dreadful as ever. All of the dishes would be washed and organized automatically. After it was all done, Chu Yunfan went into his room and closed the door. He sat with his legs crossed on a cushion beneath the bed and began his cultivation routine. Chapter 5 Unbelievable cultivation speed you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chu Yunfan put away his thoughts and recalled the incident that happened at school that day. The dream was too real, as if he was reliving another person's life. It was unbelievable. There was no explanation for that. No matter how advanced modern technology was, there were still many unresolved mysteries about the ancient zenith civilization. Whatever the case, he believed that it was definitely not a dream. He had no idea how he inherited the alchemy emperor's memories. Ever since that vision, his body had been altered. Whatever it was, he felt the change was good. The new Chu Yunfan felt more exuberant than ever. Colors appeared to be more vivid when he looked at the world, and his ears could pick up sounds more clearly. 
His body seemed to have unlimited energy, and there was a force surging inside of him. He dared not tell anyone about this transformation. He instinctively felt that he would create a stir if he was to reveal it to someone else. Those were an emperor's memories. He might be captured, dissected, and studied like a lab rat. In any case, what he found strange was the location of the alchemy emperor's landscape painting. Also, he had no idea where the god had concealed within the painting had gone. After thinking about it for a long time, Chu Yunfan could still not figure it out. He gave up and quickly focused on his cultivation again. A formula appeared in his head. It was the basic energy refinement formula. This particular formula had been spread widely by the Federation government. It was the most basic energy refinement formula, the foundation for everything involving internal energy. It was the result of the hard work of countless powerhouses and martial arts masters. They had created it using the many energy refinement formulas that originated from the ancient Zenith civilization. The basic energy refinement formula was rather plain, but the advantage was that it was stable and would not confuse the cultivator. It was a formula used by every human in the Federation to build the basics of internal energy. Even so, it was more often commoners that would cultivate with the basic energy refinement formula for a prolonged period. Geniuses from major clans and disciples of the main sex would have their own inheritance, leading them to give this basic formula a pass. Chu Yunfan used to cultivate using the basic energy refinement formula as well, but now he had all the alchemy emperor's memories starting from his youth. The alchemy emperor's talent for pill refinement was monumental throughout history. None had done it before, and nobody was ever able to achieve what he had. However, when it came to martial Dao cultivation, he had no special gift for it. In time, he would depend mostly on countless medicinal pills to cultivate to the level of emperor forcefully. They did not come up in the past, but his flaws were quickly exposed when he was compared to other emperors. He even remembered clearly what the alchemy emperor was thinking before he died. I called myself a genius, bathing in glory throughout my life. Nobody would say no to me. However, it was all an illusion. Nothing can be relied upon except one's own cultivation. That's the source of all power. If there's an afterlife, I'll definitely cultivate with all of my might. Although it was the age of great cultivation where everyone could cultivate, unless someone was willing to teach you or your family gave you abundant resources, you would have to spend money to purchase martial arts materials. The total cost would be an enormous sum. Initially, Chu Yunfan was worried about internal energy cultivation, but it would not be a problem anymore. Although the alchemy emperor was nothing special when it came to martial Dao cultivation, he had learned quite a number of effective techniques. As many other magnificent emperors came to him for help, he mastered more and more of such techniques from each of them. Chu Yunfan had chosen his target. It was the figure that was as majestic as an angel in that memory, the one that could fight up to a hundred emperors at the same time. He was known as the greatest emperor of all time, the Emperor Supreme. He was known to be invincible even though he lived in the age of many emperors, the same period as the alchemy emperor. According to the alchemy emperor's memories, he was a genius beyond comparison, the best he had ever seen. The Emperor Supreme began practicing martial arts at the age of three, and all of them came to him easily. He had fantastic judgment, and he could remember each style after seeing it only once. After observing it three to five times, he thoroughly understood it. He was already famous by the time he turned five. By the age of ten, nobody of the younger generation was a match for him. He defeated all powerhouses in his tribe when he was fifteen. When he thought he could no longer improve himself if he stayed with them, he left his home to travel with his sword. When he was eighteen, he was known all over the world. He had made his master famous, formed some friendships, defeated monstrous enemies, and killed rivals. He became the strongest powerhouse in the world when he was thirty-one. He fought Sikong Kyo at the peak of Tian Shan, and that was the first defeat in his life. He did not give up after being bested by Sikong Kyo and went into closed-door cultivation for ten years. 
when he emerged, he had finally completed his comprehension and cultivation. When he heard that his entire tribe was slaughtered by the age's great enemy, he slew all 3,570 enemies on his own as a tribute to his tribe's people. Later on, he challenged Sikong Kyo to another battle and defeated him. He then became the era's greatest warrior. He founded the Mighty Emperor sect when he was 50 and wrote the Mighty Emperor Battle Book. It became the sect's treasure. If the Alchemy Emperor was the master of alchemy, Emperor Supreme was the master of Marshal Dao. Even though there were many emperors, he dominated that generation. He was invincible. When Emperor Supreme asked the Alchemy Emperor for a divine pill to save the woman he loved back then, he exchanged it for the Mighty Emperor Battle Book. As it was, the alchemy emperor had considered mastering martial Dao. Although he achieved that by using medicinal pills, the most he could do was refer to the mighty emperor battle book. He could not possibly get rid of his former cultivation and start all over again. Now, Chu Yunfan would benefit from that. He had a low cultivation base, so losing all of it and cultivating from the beginning was nothing whatsoever to him. He knew starting from scratch might mean that would not make it to the year 3 exam that determined whether he would get into the martial arts or liberal arts stream in a month's time. Even so, he realized that this was a rare opportunity. Getting into either stream was immaterial to him. If he could achieve one dot tenth of Emperor Supreme's cultivation base in the future, few people in modern times would be a match for him. It would definitely be worth it. As Chu Yunfan thought about this, he could not help but clench his teeth and remove all the martial arts he had learned. Fresh blood flowed from the corners of his lips. His organs were injured, but that was the price for getting rid of what he had learned. Some of his tiny meridians were severely damaged too. If this had happened in the common era, he would have been bedridden for at least a month. However, advanced technology and knowledge from the ancient zenith civilization had improved the standards of medicine exponentially. He got a bottle of healing spray from the table at the side. Although such sprays could not heal severe injuries, they could treat minor ones. As the age of great cultivation developed, all households had such healing sprays for emergencies. The problem was, a bottle cost 30,000 coins. On most days, he dared not use it so casually. Such a small bottle could only be sprayed 100 times. Over the previous years, he had used it 90 times while practicing martial arts on and off, leaving him with only 10 more. He would usually feel heartbroken every time he used it, since 300 would be gone just like that. Nonetheless, this time, he clenched his teeth and bit the bullet, spraying it into his mouth 10 times. Danger could never be overcome without taking risks even before he had integrated the alchemy emperor's memories. In truth, he did not realize that the alchemy emperor's thoughts were influencing his own, making him more decisive. In order to accomplish great feats, one should not worry about the small trifles or overthink. The series of sprays sent a breeze into the organs and tiny meridians that had been damaged, healing them. Although this was not his first time, he found modern science magical every time he used it. Even the wondrous age of the ancient zenith civilization in the alchemy emperor's memories did not have such a thing. Modern science had indeed achieved something that the ancient zenith civilization could not. A cultivation technique called the mighty eternal emperor method popped into his head. It was an internal energy cultivation method that the emperor supreme had developed and recorded in the mighty emperor battle book. The battle book was a martial arts guide. Not only did it record internal energy cultivation methods but also many martial arts skills that Emperor Supreme had learned throughout his life. Just as Chu Yunfan started to utilize the mighty Eternal Emperor method, he felt piercing pain all over his body. It was as if the entirety of his flesh was being torn apart. The first step of the mighty Eternal Emperor method was body sculpting. The body would be reshaped into a robust form called the Supreme Body. When someone refined their physical form into the invulnerable supreme body, they could travel through heaven and earth. Furthermore, it would also lay the foundation for the mighty eternal emperor method. How could one cultivate such an incomparable method without having an incomparable physique? 
naturally, the supreme body could not be achieved with a snap of the fingers. It was divided into many stages, with the cultivation of the physical stage being just the first step. Though it was merely the first step, he was in utter agony. Nevertheless, compared to the tearing of all the cells in his body when he received the inheritance in the dream at school, this did not seem excruciating. At that moment, a cooling sensation flowed in his limbs and bones without him realizing. It seemed to be an energy that was mending his torn flesh. He cultivated again, and the pain returned. The cooling sensation also came back, easing his suffering immediately. Chu Yunfan had no idea what was happening, but he remained focused on cultivating. Very soon, he opened his eyes and was shocked when he looked at his body. Tier point one physical stage, muscle training has been completed already. He sensed enormous strength in his muscles. It was even a few times more powerful than when he first cultivated to muscle training. It was on a completely different level. When he checked the time, he was even more surprised that less than an hour had passed and he had completed the cultivation of tier point one physical stage, muscle training. It had taken him three whole months to do that the first time. During this cultivation, he had the feeling that he had mastered all the important points of muscle training. There were no doubts or uncertainties. He felt everything was so easy, whereby he had solved all the difficult issues within the cultivation. He could not understand many things when he cultivated them in the past. He merely cultivated in a blur following the explanations in the material given. Conversely, there was no secret in anything now. He had mastered everything. He had never felt so clear before. This was a clarity he had not had previously. Can it be that I'm really a genius? But I don't think even bona fide geniuses cultivate as fast as I just did. Thinking this, Chu Yunfan did not stop and continued to cultivate. Everything that happened next proved that what had occurred was not a dream. It was like a miracle. Tier point two physical stage, bone strengthening. Tier point three physical stage, skin refinement. Tier point four physical stage, tendon tuning. Tier point five physical stage, inner strengthening. Chu Yunfan opened his eyes and was in complete disbelief. He had been cultivating since he was ten. In the six years since, he had managed to reach inner strengthening. He looked at the time now. It had been 6 p.m. when he finished dinner and started cultivating. It was now midnight. Dot it had only been six hours, and he had gone through the journey that took him six years previously. What kind of speed was that? Even if he had benefited from cultivating from the beginning again, was this not exceedingly bizarre? It was no exaggeration to say that he had become several times more powerful than he used to be. He could now fight multiples of his previous self. It was supposed to be the time for him to sleep, but he did not feel tired when he meditated. Instead, he was wide awake. Suddenly, another thought popped into his mind. Since he cultivated so fast before, what would happen if he proceeded to cultivate now? What would tier point six physical stage, joint popping be like? Chapter 6 Breaking through consecutively you are listening at novel full dot audio. Thinking about it, Chu Yunfan decided to go ahead. He began the circulation of the mighty Eternal Emperor Methods formula. The tearing pain ripped through him again, but the cooling feeling appeared at the same time. With the constant sensation of tearing and cooling, Chu Yunfan felt like he was dying and reviving at the same time. In any case, he gritted his teeth and endured it. He wanted to cultivate to the peak of tier point five physical stage, inner strengthening. As the name suggested, it meant strengthening one's organs. One could imagine the agony his organs were going through being torn and healed repeatedly. Finally, he opened his eyes again after two hours had passed. I finally cultivated to the peak of inner strengthening. I've completed the refinement of the organs. I never imagined I could cultivate at such a rate. I'd just broken through to inner strengthening a month ago. I thought I'd need a few months to get to the peak of inner strengthening. Chu Yunfan thought to himself. 
At that moment, his mind was clear and many things rushed into it. Apart from the incredible mighty Eternal Emperor method, the main reason his cultivation speed was so fast was that his body seemed to have been altered on a certain level. Otherwise, no matter how much it had accelerated, he could possibly have surpassed six years of cultivation within a few short hours. His flesh had been modified when that blurry ray of light repeatedly tore and reshaped countless cells in his body. This was what could be seen when he was cultivating the mighty Eternal Emperor method. He had no idea where the cooling sensation came from either. If it had not helped ease the pain, he might have had to pause many times throughout the process. It would not have been impossible for his cultivation to have been as successful. What exactly went into my body? Chu Yunfan could not help but feel a little wary. Never mind. Whatever it was, it's beneficial for me. I'll find out exactly what it is when I get to tier point 8 physical stage, internal observation. Tier point 8 physical stage, internal observation, as the name suggested, was when you could witness what was happening within your body. You could see your blood vessels, organs, muscles, and so on. You would not actually see all this with your eyes. Instead, when you mastered your body entirely, you could sense everything. Many details in your body would appear in your head, making it feel like you were seeing it with your eyes. Since I've cultivated to the peak of inner strengthening, I'll work hard again tonight to get to tier point 6, joint popping. Chu Yunfan decided to put the doubt he had aside. It was more important that he break through first. He could no longer wait. He had been in Chu Yuntian's shadow since childhood, so he had never been so passionate about cultivation nor so hopeful for his future before. He did not have the opportunity in the past, but God had placed it before him now. He definitely would not let it slip through his grasp. As Chu Yunfan made up his mind, he closed his eyes again and began to break through to tier point six physical stage. All of his true energy rushed into and between his bones, refining the fascia within. All of it happened as Chu Yunfan imagined. He smoothly mastered everything in his hands. All of the important points of cultivating fascia emerged in his head. He recalled all of the many of the cultivation methods his teacher had thought in school that he could barely remember before. He even remembered the expression on the teacher's face as he was teaching them. Chun Yunfan had never felt such a thing. It was the legendary photographic memory. Tier point six physical stage, joint popping was not a secret to him now. What the teacher taught was the culmination of the personal experience of countless human martial arts masters. The explanation was crystal dot clear, but he could not understand it due to his limited abilities back then. Now, it had become the fuel enabling him to break through to joint popping. There were almost no obstacles. True energy was surging continuously within his body, refining his flesh over and over again. It was breaking the barrier of his flesh to tier point six physical stage. Bang! It was like something exploded in Chu Yunfan's head. There was a barrier that had been confining him before that stopped him from getting to tier point six. Now, it was like a dam that was broken by a flood and crushed by the impact. At that point, Chu Yunfan opened his eyes. He moved slightly and heard a series of cracking noises. It sounded like firecrackers. That was the clear evidence of stepping into tier point six physical stage, joint popping. True energy was rapidly circulating his entire body. He had reached a whole new level. The feeling was amazing. Nevertheless, he also sensed that the cooling sensation in his body was no longer there. It seemed to be the energy that was produced in the beginning. After continuously healing Chu Yun Fan, it had almost completely vanished. The energy gave him the fuel he needed to break through. People who practiced martial arts had large appetites. In order to replenish their energy, they needed much much more fuel than ordinary people. His family was already in a difficult situation, so how could they have the additional funds needed to buy supplements for him? If he had been born into a wealthy family, he would have been able to get into the martial arts stream even with his mediocre abilities. Ginseng and Ganoderma seemed effective. To ordinary people, 
they were indeed great supplements. However, for people who were on the cultivation path, they were far from enough. Therefore, modern science invented pure nutrient supplements. When a dose of a nutrient supplement was injected, it contained the energy equivalent to eating several tons of rice. He was much more powerful than anyone else at the same stage after he used the mighty Eternal Emperor method. He could fight his old self many times over, but he also needed much more energy than a regular person. With his family's current situation, they definitely could not afford his cultivation. He had to think of a solution. I've already stepped into tier point six now, and at this rate, I'll cultivate to the peak soon. I won't be too far away from getting to tier point seven. There's hope that I'll get into the martial arts stream now. Chu Yunfan was secretly excited. Getting into the martial arts stream had always been an obsession of his, and he was unwilling to give it up. The only thing that kept him from dropping the whole idea before was pure stubbornness, but he saw he genuinely had a chance now. At such a cultivation rate, he would far surpass any prodigies. At that moment, Chu Yunfan looked at the time. He could not believe that it was 7 in the morning the next day. I've cultivated for almost 13 hours now. I've been cultivating the entire night, but I'm still high in spirits. I'm not sleepy at all. Chu Yunfan thought it was unbelievable that he was still so exuberant. In the past, he felt dizzy after cultivating for a few hours. The reason was that when he cultivated, he had to focus everything in his body. It was mentally exhausting. This time, he did not feel tired at all after cultivating through the night. Not only that, he felt exhilarated. If he did the math, he would have more cultivation time than anyone else. Of course, he knew that wealthy families would definitely have other ways to replenish their mental fatigue, so he did not necessarily have more cultivation time than others. However, he could not help but get excited. My initial goal was getting into the martial arts stream, but now it seems like nothing at all. I must aim for a higher goal. Not only do I want to get into the martial arts stream, but I also want to get into one of the top schools, even the no. One school, Federation University. Chu Yunfan clenched his fists. This time, his eyes were not filled with despair but the look of a man with ambition. But I'm way too far from the rest now, especially those geniuses who can get into the top ten schools. They have had outstanding talent since they were young. I don't have the resources that they do, and I started too late. Fortunately, the stream division has just started. I have about 10 months to cultivate now. I must hold tight to destiny this time. I won't let it slip away from me, dot at that moment, there was a series of knocks from outside the door. It was his mother, Yan Yayun, coming to wake him up. It was time for school. Yun Fan, wake up. You have to eat and go to school. Okay, got it, mom. After answering his mother, Chu Yunfan changed out of the clothes he had worn the day before. Having quickly packed his bag, he took it and walked out of his room. His father, Chu Wencheng, was already eating at the side of the table, but he looked dispirited. It was obvious he had received an earful the whole night. Meanwhile, his sister had just swallowed a handful of medicine and began to slowly eat her breakfast. She seemed to have gotten used to such mornings as well. Chu Yunfan took a deep breath. He was still energetic, and he felt like never had such anticipation for the future before. Watching his family living harmoniously, Chu Yunfan made up his mind to protect them and make everyone feel loved and happy. After breakfast, Chu Yunfan immediately went out the door and rushed to school. Chapter 7 Academic Genius. Level Learning Ability You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio when Chu Yunfan arrived at school, there were already many students at the liberal arts class. In the Kunlun era, every school's curriculum focused on both liberal arts and martial arts. Those nerds who buried their heads in books or the boors who excelled in sports but were simple. minded from the common era were good. For. Nothing. Education in the Kunlun era aimed to train students to be good in both liberal and martial arts. 
all of these modern students would be considered outstanding if any of them were placed in the common era. Prior to the stream division, a school day was usually divided into morning and afternoon sessions. They would learn all sorts of liberal arts and knowledge in the morning, and the afternoon was their time for martial arts training. That was how they could train all dot rounded students in both liberal and martial arts. Only after the stream division would the students have the freedom to choose what they preferred. Meanwhile, the liberal and martial arts classes were held in different classrooms. The liberal arts classroom was similar to the ones in the common era. The martial arts class would take place in a massive sparring arena, as this was convenient for students to cultivate. Chu Yunfan's arrival did not grab anyone's attention. He got to his seat and took out a tablet. Many years back, paper books were discarded and replaced with such tablets. It was convenient and environmentally friendly. Dot all learning materials were loaded into the tablet. It had a variety of exercise questions, and students could look for documents online whenever they wanted. It was a great learning platform. Chu Yunfan began to look at the learning materials after he tapped into it. It was the homework that was part of his daily routine. As they had to focus on both fields, if he was to get into the martial arts stream, he had to have good results in liberal arts as well. As it happened, he soon noticed something was different. When he went through the material he had opened, he realized he could read almost ten lines at once. Not only that, but he could also remember everything immediately after reading it. He had memorized all of it. As he recalled what he had learned, he thoroughly understood many things that he could not comprehend previously. Although his liberal arts grades were not too bad, they were nothing special. He could only be considered middling. Nevertheless, he had read all of the materials now. When he did the materials exercise questions, it was almost too easy for him. He understood whatever he read. This was certainly an academic genius. Level learning ability. It completely surpassed everything he had imagined. It seems my martial arts talent isn't the only thing that has been modified. I must have been altered in all aspects. I feel like my brain has been transformed. Chu Yunfan thought to himself. His mind was clearer than ever, so he could think of many things that he might not have before. The dream dot like adventure was not as simple as he thought. It had a deep influence on him. No matter what, this is good for me. With this stunning learning ability, he could save a lot of time. Moreover, a capable martial artist would need to study all sorts of things. They would need to do far more than just meditation and cultivation. With such a gift, he could go even further. Without him realizing, time quickly passed by, and it was time for the first class. The first lesson was about the seal script. This class was mandatory for all schools. This was because so many things in the Kunlun era were related to the ancient Zenith civilization. In order to study further, learning the seal script was a must. Very soon, the teacher who taught seal script class arrived. He was an elderly man, probably older than 60, with a head full of white hair. Due to their huge age difference, the students did not call him teacher. Instead, they referred to him as Sir He, and he looked like a wizened pedant from the common era. Whatever the case, Chu Yunfan was sensitive enough to sense an immense vital fluctuation coming from him. Clearly, he was a martial Tao powerhouse. Since the dream, his ability to sense such things had heightened greatly. Chu Yunfan thought to himself that one should not judge a book by its cover. He could not believe that he had never noticed Sir He was a fearsome martial Tao warrior in the past two years. After everyone stood up and bowed, the class started. Sir He did not say much when he came in. Instead, he wrote a seal script character on the electric blackboard. I haven't taught you guys this character. I'm letting you guess what this word means. Sir He said. Though he looked old, his voice was strong. As people of cultivation, learning the seal script is a basic ability. The reason being, many secret records were written directly in seal script characters. If you don't know the characters, you won't be able to read them if you obtain some secret records in the Kunlun realm. 
I've mentioned in the class before that the seal script is pictographic, just like our Chinese words. So, can you guys guess what it means, judging by the look of the seal script character? Sir he glanced at the students. He pointed at one of them and stated, Foam Dang, tell me. You're the class monitor, and you got a good grade in seal script class too. It was a young man of about 16 or 17. He was tall and handsome, but there was an arrogance to his face as well. One could tell at a glance that he came from a prestigious family. His dark blue martial arts attire was gilded and looked very expensive. He was Class 11's monitor, Foam Dame. He had a notable family background as well as great talent. His cultivation base had reached Tier 9 Physical Stage, Chi Nourishment. Given his dashing face, many of his female classmates had a crush on him, so he was the popular one in class. Chu Yunfan looked at Gao Hongji next to him. He came from second dot generation wealth too, and he also had great talent. His cultivation base was comparable to Feng Dang's, but their level of popularity was very different. Like the saying went, nobody will be harmed when there's no comparison. One was a prince charming that was popular in class, while the other was a fat joker. Seeing Feng Dang's cool appearance, Gao Hongji pouted in disdain, saying, all he knows is how to pose. Look at him being all vain like a peacock flaunting its feathers. Who doesn't know that he's pretentious? Chu Yunfan heard Gao Hongji's mumbling and thought it was funny. The duo's cultivation base was the top of the class among the male students. Given that Feng Dang had a snobbish persona, it was natural that they did not like each other. Sir He, I think this must be onomatopoeic. The reason is that it's different from all of the seal script characters that I've ever learned. Feng Dang answered. Sir He merely smiled. He then looked at the rest of the class and said, Is there anyone else who has an opinion on that? Sir He, I don't think it's necessary that you ask anyone else. How would they know if I don't? My family hired a graduate who specialized in seal script research in the university to teach me. Feng Dang said haughtily. He genuinely looked down on the other students. The best he can do is show off what little money he has. Does he think we can't afford to hire someone ourselves? Gao Hongji spat, with his progress, how can he be such a blowhard since his family got him a tutor? He then added, but this character is indeed strange. I've never seen it before. He did think it was unusual. The truth was, he had secretly got a tutor that specialized in seal script as well. He knew almost all of the commonly used characters and had memorized all of their meanings. Nonetheless, he was sure that he had never seen this character. How about you, Tang Siyu? Sir he remained smiling and pointed at a young lady. The girl also looked to be 16 or 17. She had exquisite features and a little bit of baby fat. Wearing her white martial uniform, she was tall and had a great body too. She was class 11's vice dot monitor, as well as the goddess that most guys in the class had a crush on. Her name was Tang Siyu. Tang Siyu's background was a mystery to the class. This was because she had not enrolled in the school like the rest had done but transferred there the previous year. When she arrived, her cultivation base was only at tier point three. However, a year later, she was already at tier point nine. Such talent had alerted the school's upper echelons. She even had admirers from other schools. In class 11, Tang Siyu, Gao Hongji, and Feng Dang had the highest cultivation bases and were the top three students. They were guaranteed to get into the martial arts stream. Tang Siyu got up and said with a bright voice, Sir He, I think this word can't be onomatopoeic. It might be a noun, perhaps a creature. I can tell from the shape of the word. At that moment, Sir He had a faint smile on his face and said, Are there any other opinions? Suddenly, Chu Yunfan raised his hand. He stood up and said, Sir He, I know the meaning of this word. All eyes were on Chu Yunfan. 
This was because, given that sir he only meant for them to guess the meaning of the word, it must have been something they were not expected to know. Despite that, Chu Yunfan said he knew. Oh. Tell me about it then. Sir he said with a grin. The vice dot monitor is right. The meaning of this word is a giant, ferocious bird. Chu Yunfan answered, looking sure of himself. Though others were merely guessing the meaning of the seal script character, he recognized the word immediately because the alchemy emperor's memories were just so clear in his head. The seal script was the text used in that era. Besides commonly used words, he recognized some rare ones too. Nonsense. Feng Dang shouted. Chu Yunfan, stop pretending to know when you don't. Even I don't get it, so how would you? Gal Hongji instantly jumped up. Eh, I don't like what you just said. What do you mean by how would he get it when you don't? Sir he said nothing, so what are you doing interrupting, he exclaimed. He could not stand Feng Dang behaving like that. You. Rage burned within Feng Dang, and a grim expression flashed through his eyes. He was infuriated that Chu Yunfan dared to claim that his explanation was wrong. Moreover, he did not believe that Chu Yunfan really understood what the word meant at all. Over the last few years, he had hired a tutor to teach him the seal script exclusively. He memorized the meanings of all the words and terms, but he did not know this one. How could Chu Yunfan, a boy born into a poor family, know? All right, quiet. Chapter 8 Stunning predictive ability you are listening at novel full dot audio. Sir he coughed and the duo had to stop. He stated, what Chu Yunfan said was right. The word represents a ferocious bird. I can't believe you knew that. The truth is, this word has only been researched and translated recently. Even many people specializing in seal script research don't know that. Seems like you've been working hard. That's amazing. What sir he said made Feng Dang flush. This was half because he was enraged by Gao Hongji and half because his guess had been entirely wrong. Although Tang Siyu did not get the full answer as Chu Yunfan had, at least she surmised the word represented an animal. Meanwhile, he had said that it was onomatopoeic. That was completely off. At that moment, Chu Yunfan felt two pairs of eyes looking at him. One was class monitor Feng Dang's rather scary glare, while on the side was vice.monitor Tang Siyu's quite curious gaze. It seemed she never expected that the guy who was usually the most inconspicuous in class would study so deeply into such a subject. Since that's the case, let me test you again. Sir he wrote a few rare sealed script characters on the electric blackboard. He thought he would put Chu Yunfan to the test, but Chu Yunfan managed to answer them smoothly with a calm expression on his face. In fact, many of his answers invigorated Sir He. A large number of translations for uncommon seal script characters only touched on their real meanings and were not that accurate. However, when Chu Yunfan discussed them, his descriptions were slightly different from the available interpretations. As Sir He thought about it, he felt Chu Yunfan's explanations were superior. Good, good, good. Your explanation is better. There were some words that I didn't understand before because the translation didn't make sense, but everything is so clear after you explained it. These are the correct translations of so many words. This is huge. The more sir he pondered on it, the more excited he became. No, I must report this to the Seal Script Research Institute as soon as I can. Admiration filled his eyes when he looked at Chu Yunfan. Initially, he merely wanted to test Chu Yunfan's knowledge. He wanted to see if he knew some of the rare seal script characters. Never had he suspected that not only would Chu Yunfan know them, but he would also give a whole new perspective on them. One of the interpretations of the seal script characters that Chu Yunfan gave seemed to be exactly the same as the mainstream explanation. However, after careful consideration and comparison, Sir He felt the previous explanation was wrong and Chu Yunfan's was correct. You're a genius, Chu Yunfan. I've read your profile before. 
You have an ordinary martial Dao cultivation base, but that's all right. I can recommend you for professional research of the SEAL script in one of the top 10 schools. It'll be a pity if a genius like you doesn't study the SEAL script. Sir he could not stop talking. Talent was required to study the SEAL script. Some people can approximate the meaning of characters just by looking at their shape, while others could not guess no matter what. That was the difference between one with the talent for it and one without. Many students looked at Chu Yunfan in shock, especially those who were obviously not getting into the martial arts stream. They stared at Chu Yunfan with envy. The top 10 schools. Although he would be studying professional liberal arts, he would be graduating from one of the top 10 schools. Anyone who came out of it would be part of society's elite. They could even say that nobody in the entire class could get into one of the top 10 schools, but Chu Yun Fan would receive a recommendation from Sir He. Nobody would doubt such an endorsement because Sir He had a high status in the school. Even the principal would call him Sir He out of respect. It was the principal who had begged him to come out of retirement. Everyone speculated that Sir He must come from an influential background. Tang Siyu's eyes were glowing when she looked at Chu Yun Fan. This is an amazing discovery. Students, that'll be all for today's class. Do self.study now. Sir He was very excited. Right after he spoke, he came to a decision and left the classroom. At that moment, all the students were in an uproar. None of them could believe that Sir He valued this matter so much. One after another, their eyes all turned to Chu Yun Fan. It was his first time becoming the center of attention. From childhood, Chu Yun Fan was seen as very ordinary. He was never in the limelight no matter which circle he was in. In any case, he remained calm. The alchemy emperor's memories were influencing him, and there were so many chaotic scenes in his mind. In comparison, this was nothing at all. What stunned him was that vice.monitor Tang Siyu, who was never interested in anyone in class, approached him too. She said, I can't believe you understand the seal script so well. It's nothing. Chu Yun Fan said with a smile. It could be said that the seal script came naturally to him. It was effortless. After Tang Siyu said her piece, she turned around and returned to her seat. She began looking at the materials on her tablet. Feng Dang looked at Tang Siyu and then Chu Yun Fan. There was ruthlessness flashing through his eyes. Wow, I can't believe that you know so much about seal script. Gao Hongji patted Chu Yun Fan's shoulder hard. He felt as if he had discovered his best buddy all over again. Sensing the student's various expressions, including suspicion, shock, vexation, and kindness, Chu Yun Fan told himself that it was just the beginning. There was martial arts class in the afternoon. It was loud in number 13 high school's class 11's classroom. Unlike the liberal arts classroom, the martial arts venue was a large scale sparring arena. Each martial arts classroom was up to 1,000 square meters in area. They were divided into different zones for various functions. There was a meditation zone specifically for meditation, as well as a mini sparring space for students to use. L.RG at the corner of the meditation zone, Chu Yun Fan sat with his legs crossed, trying to seize every minute he had. He had just broken through to tier point six the night before. He wanted to make the most of every moment in order to break through to tier point seven or even further. Suddenly, a series of noises snapped him out of his meditative state. He lifted his head to look. At that moment, the students from the class had made a circle and taken their seats. Within the circle, two young men who looked 16 or 17 were readying to spar. One had a large build and was over 1.9 meters tall. Meanwhile, the other one looked like he was over 1.7 meters tall. Chu Yunfan knew both of them. The tall student was called Mu Junfei, while the other one was Di Ming. The duo did not like each other. They had similar cultivation bases and were stronger than Chu Yunfan used to be. 
They were at the peak of Tier Point 6, a step away from reaching Tier Point 7 and getting into the martial arts stream. Therefore, both of them valued their time. It was the last month they had to break through. After that, they would be able to get into the martial arts stream, and their future would be bright. Chu Yunfan sat next to Gao Hongji. Seeing that Chu Yunfan was there, Gao Hongji could not help but ask, Yunfan, who do you think will win between the two of them? Gao Hongji looked at Chu Yunfan excitedly as he asked the question. Who do you think would win? Instead of answering, Chu Yunfan turned the question back on him. I think Mu Junfei will. His tall and muscular build gives him a natural advantage. It wouldn't even matter if Di Ming had a higher cultivation base. Since their cultivation bases are similar, Di Ming has little chance of winning. Gao Hongji did not notice Chu Yunfan's changes from his breakthrough. Instead, he kept on talking. I don't think so. Chu Yunfan shook his head and said, although Mu Junfei is tall, his lower body will be his weakness. If he had a sturdy lower body, he'd be formidable. Unfortunately, I can see that his lower body is weak. Meanwhile, Di Ming has exceptional kicking strength. He'll defeat him with only three blows as long as he targets his lower body. Chu Yunfan's eyes were locked on the duo as he talked. It was as if he had analyzed both of them in the fighting zone like a scanner. The duo's advantages and flaws were all exposed in his eyes. This was impossible before. Never mind that Mu Junfei and Di Ming had higher cultivation bases than he did, Mu Junfei was much more powerful than he was, no matter how unsteady his lower body. As it was, all of this appeared in his head automatically. He said it without even thinking about it, and his tone sounded like he was very sure of himself. In his head, the duo had already completed a sparring simulation. The result was exactly as he predicted. The people around heard him, and they could not help but roll their eyes. Looking at Chu Yunfan being all pretentious, they secretly criticized him for thinking that he was some expert. Mu Junfei had an unsteady lower body. How come they could not see that themselves? Even Gao Hongji, one of the three experts in class 11, thought that Mu Junfei had a higher chance of winning. However, Chu Yunfan gave a completely different answer. Is he trying to win the crowd through exaggeration? However, since Gao Hongji was there, they did not say anything mean. At that point, the duo in the fighting zone began to spar. It was intense as soon as they started the match. Although they were merely at tier. Six physical stage, both of them were at the peak of joint popping. In the furious battle, they could even hear the cracking mixed in with the clash of arms and legs. Just as Gao Hongji and the rest expected, Mu Junfei's punches were fearsome due to his large build. It was difficult for Di Ming to fight him head dot on, and he soon saw his disadvantage. Very soon, Chu Yunfan sensed a couple of eyes staring faintly at him around. He could sense their disdain and mockery without even looking at them. They were definitely thinking, see, you got it wrong. Your jaw must be dropping now, you dumb asterisk SS, if this happened in the past, Chu Yunfan would certainly have been enraged. However, he merely pouted now. He felt it did not matter. What could those people's words do to him? As it turned out, when everyone was sure Di Ming was going to lose, he suddenly changed his strategy. He kicked Mu Junfei's lower body directly. At that moment, Di Ming's kicking ability was on full display. Although Mu Junfei did his best to dodge, his body began to shake. He really has a weak lower body. Gao Hongji said immediately as his eyes lit up. Naturally, by that point, he could see that Mu Junfei truly had a weak lower body. He looked at Chu Yunfan again, but he saw that he seemed nonchalant. He could not help but start to wonder how he could tell. Was he just guessing or did he genuinely know? When Di Ming kicked for the second time, Mu Junfei's issue with his unsteady lower body was plain to see. He was losing control of his shaky frame. Meanwhile, Di Ming was obviously not going to let go of the opportunity, and he kicked for the third time. 
the tall and lumbering Mu Jinfei instantly fell to the ground. He had lost. At the moment when they all should have been excited, the crowd went completely silent. All of them looked at Chu Yunfan, as nobody expected that he had guessed correctly. Chapter 9 Defeated in one hit you are listening at Novel Full Audio. Initially, they assumed Chu Yunfan had embarrassed himself, seeing that Mu Jinfei had the upper hand. Your jaw will drop now, they thought. Never had they suspected that they would be the ones to be embarrassed and that their jaws would drop. Naturally, many would not admit it. I never bet that Mu Jinfei would be the victor. I've always thought Di Ming would win. Gao Hongji was the only one who did not mind that he had misjudged at all. He asked immediately, Yun Fan, how did you know that Di Ming would win? I couldn't tell that Mu Jinfei had a weak lower body. At that point, many had turned their eyes toward them and their ears were listening carefully. In reality, they wanted to know exactly how he had done it. They hoped that Chu Yunfan just had a lucky guess. Otherwise, all of them would be embarrassed that they guessed wrongly while he got it right. In that instant, Chu Yunfan realized that Tang Siyu was sitting right across from him in the circle. Her beautiful, sparkling eyes had landed on him. There was a sliver of curiosity in her gaze, and she seemed to want to know the answer as well. Meanwhile, the other personage from their class sat diagonally across from him. Feng Deng appeared rather unfriendly when he looked at him. Although he quickly hid the hostility, Chu Yunfan's heightened senses brought it to his attention. Chu Yunfan paused and said, The truth is, Mu Jinfei's lower body isn't that weak. It's just that Di Ming happens to be adept at kicking. That's why I said that. The crowd seemed to have come to a conclusion. It sounded like Chu Yunfan did indeed have a lucky guess after he happened to notice that. If they had seen that earlier, this fellow would not have the chance to flaunt his foresight. Even Di Ming looked over with a huge smile across his face. Whether he chose to attack Mu Jinfei's lower body halfway through the match after hearing what Chu Yunfan said earlier or not, only he knew. Just then, a figure rushed over ferociously as soon as Chu Yunfan was done speaking. It was none other than Mu Jinfei. Compared to Di Ming, the victor who was nothing but smiles, Mu Jinfei was furious that he had lost the match. Chu Yunfan, stop pretending that you're so great. Come fight me. Clearly, Mu Jinfei heard what Chu Yunfan said. It would not have meant anything if he had won, but the fact was, he had lost. He became the laughing stock of Chu Yunfan's pretentious speech. What do you want? Are you a sore loser? Didn't you call yourself a man earlier? Gao Hongji stood up before Chu Yunfan could speak. You lost and you're blaming someone outside of the fight. Gao Hongji, this has nothing to do with you. Chu Yunfan, I'm asking you if you would dare to fight me. Gao Hongji forced Mu Jinfei to take a step back. Although he looked big and chubby, everyone in class knew that he was someone they could not afford to offend. Nevertheless, he could not hold back the rage inside him, so he issued the challenge again. Hey, Gao Hongji, this is just a sparring match between students. Why are you panicking? No one noticed Feng Deng had come to the fighting zone. At that moment, he casually stepped into Gao Hongji's path. Oh, the mighty class monitor. Gao Hongji looked at Feng Deng and emphasized the term, class monitor. What does this have to do with you? What? Do you want to fight me? Facing class monitor Feng Deng, Gao Hongji did not back down at all. Although one was the prince charming of the class and the other was a fat joker, everyone who was familiar with class 11 knew that the duo were the outstanding ones among the male students. It made sense that they would fight. None of them wanted to yield. Stop your nonsense, Gao Hongji. I'm just discussing the matter as it is. It's just sparring among classmates. Chu Yunfan hasn't even said anything, so what's with you coming out of nowhere? Feng Deng said with a mocking expression on his face. His words shifted everyone's attention to Chu Yunfan. They seemed to want to know whether he would dare to fight. 
everyone knew that Chu Yunfan's abilities were mediocre. Mu Jinfei hoped he would get into the martial arts stream, but Chu Yunfan definitely had no chance of that. They had just one month left, and his cultivation base was only at tier 0.5 physical stage. They were two tiers apart and a month was far too short. Chu Yunfan got up and said, let's fight then if that's what you want. He realized that he was secretly excited. If this happened in the past, he definitely would not have accepted such a ridiculous challenge. His family's situation meant that he was fated to never take part in real battles. Although one could improve faster through actual combat, the treatment fee from one injury alone would break his heart. However, after breaking through, he was eagerly anticipating this. Great. At least you're a man. Mu Jinfei had a rather fearsome expression when he saw that Chu Yunfan had agreed. He wanted to release all of the anger he had built up after his earlier defeat on Chu Yunfan. He wanted him to know that there were things that one should not say. Will you be all right? Gao Hongji asked, feeling rather worried. Don't worry. What is this really? It's just sparring. Chu Yunfan replied with a nod. After the both of them prepared themselves, the crowd left the sparring zone. You said that my lower body is weak. I'll show you whether that's true. Mu Jinfei smirked coldly and swiftly aimed a kick at Chu Yunnan's face. He did not just want to beat Chu Yunfan. He also wanted to humiliate him. You idiot. Chu Yunfan smirked. He did not expect that he would do that, despite saying that Mu Jinfei had a weak lower body. A faint golden glimmer appeared in Chu Yunfan's eyes. He merely lifted his arm and blocked Mu Jinfei's leg. They heard the sound of the impact, and Mu Jinfei felt as if he had struck a piece of metal. The bones in his foot were in great pain. On the other hand, Chu Yunfan remained standing, as if the kick had landed on a wall. Everything happened so quickly. Chu Yunfan merely took a step forward and threw a straight, simple punch. It struck Mu Jinfei's chest directly. The punch was incredible. Mu Jinfei was sent flying for over two meters before he crashed into the ground. At that moment it was so quiet that one could hear a needle drop. Everyone was dumbstruck. Mu Jinfei was defeated just like that. Dot Mu Jinfei fared better when he sparred against Di Ming earlier. He may have been defeated, but he still felt respected. At least they fought intensely for a little bit. This time, the class could not understand what had just happened. Chu Yunfan merely defended and attacked, but Mu Jinfei was beaten just like that. He was bested so soon, it was simply absurd. Only Chu Yunfan knew that Mu Jinfei had no chance of winning from the beginning. None of his weaknesses could escape his eyes. After he had reached tier 0.6 physical stage, his physique was clearly several times stronger than Mu Jinfei's. Therefore, from start to finish, Mu Jinfei had no hope of winning. Damn, am I seeing things. How did that happen? I feel like I just blinked and the battle was over. I must be hallucinating. I must be hallucinating. The people discussed among themselves. They found it unbelievable. Even Tang Siyu's sparkling eyes stared at Chu Yunfan in surprise. They all looked at Chu Yunfan differently. They had more of an impression of Chu Yunfan on this day alone than the entirety of the previous two years. When Chu Yunfan managed to answer Sir He's questions so smoothly, it made their view of him change a little. After this battle, they truly admired him. After all, the world looked up to Marshal Dao, so anyone with a significant Marshal Dao cultivation base stood at the top of the world. While everyone was dumbstruck, a majestic voice came from the classroom all of a sudden. What are you guys doing? A straight figure had walked into the class. It was their coach, Qin Wu. He scanned the students as soon as he walked in. In the sparring zone, he saw Chu Yunfan and Mu Jinfei, who had been sent flying. Initially, he was not interested in the sparring matches between students. In this case, what intrigued him was that Mu Jinfei, 
the one who had been defeated, was quite an exceptional student. Conversely, he had always thought the victor, Chu Yun Fan, had no talent. As a coach, he had a basic understanding of all his students. Although Chu Yun Fan did his best when cultivating, he was not gifted. The chances of him improving any further were slim. It was cruel, but that was reality. Be that as it may, he did not expect that Chu Yun Fan would surprise him on this day. Qin Wu stared at Chu Yun Fan for a little bit before he asked, You've broken through to tier point six. Thinking to himself, Chu Yun Fan felt it was no wonder Qin Wu was the school's martial arts coach. To be able to notice his breakthrough from a glance, he had to be quite capable. As it was, since he had been exposed, there was no need for him to hide it. Instead, he nodded. That's right. I've broken through to joint popping. Not bad. Qin Wu nodded and said nothing more. At that moment, the students were thoroughly stirred. They looked like they had come to a realization. Ah, no wonder. So Chu Yun Fan has broken through to tier point six as well. It's a shame that Mu Jinfei was beaten. He was careless, but Chu Yun Fan was too sneaky. He didn't tell anyone that he had broken through. Mu Jinfei was defeated because he didn't see it coming. Mu Jinfei definitely won't lose if they were to fight again. The people were discussing among themselves. It was not unusual given that Chu Yun Fan was already at tier point five, in her strengthening before. He had merely broken through to tier point six, joint popping. It was considered a normal breakthrough. It was just that they would not expect him to defeat Mu Jinfei as soon as he broke through. Mu Jinfei had broken through a few months before. At that moment, the corner of Gao Hongji's lips raised a little bit. He said in disdain, nah, Mu Jinfei would undoubtedly lose if they were to fight again. Whether strength, speed, or angle of attack, Yun Fan is impeccable. It'd be the same if they were to have a rematch. It had nothing to do with whether he was prepared or not but with complete domination in ability. The people fell silent hearing what Gao Hongji said. Apparently, they had to admit the earlier battle could not be explained as Mu Jinfei being caught off guard. Qin Wu clapped and said, settle down. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching you guys a martial skill for use in real combat. Chapter 10 How could that be tolerated? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. What Qin Wu said got all the students' attention, and most of them were excited. Due to their ordinary family background and talent, they did not practice the martial skills for real battles. Dot whether it was Mu Jinfei sparring with Di Ming or Chu Yunfan defeating Mu Jinfei in one hit, in reality, none of them had used martial skills. They were just fighting using their strength alone. Meanwhile, the function of martial skills was to utilize their physique at the maximum level in order to defeat their opponents. Therefore, many wanted to learn. Their coach was not teaching an extraordinary martial skill, but it was free, and it would be a waste not to learn it. Everyone had their eyes on Qin Wu. He paused for a moment and then continued, there's no need for me to emphasize the importance of martial skills. Today, I'm teaching you guys a set of punching techniques called the Devilish Tiger Punch. It's a set of techniques that experts based on a type of Devilish Tiger from the ancient Zenith civilization. However, one's cultivation base is required to be at a certain level to use these techniques. Only those who have gotten to tier point six physical stage, joint popping and have sufficient physical strength can practice it freely. Most of you haven't gotten to that point, so you must take note as you try it. Stop as soon as you feel like you can't take it. You'll be at the losing end if you end up suffering internal injuries. What? There's a physical requirement for learning this devilish tiger punch. That makes sense. The more powerful a martial skill is, the greater your physique has to be. Physical strength is the foundation of such cultivation. A skyscraper has to start from the ground. The stronger one's body is, the stronger you'll be when performing many other techniques. That's right. I heard skilled martial artists can even destroy a mountain with a punch. 
In ancient times, they were called immortals. They were worshipped like gods. Coach is right. The only other way is to cultivate to the point that one has an extremely developed brain and divine abilities with unbelievable power. By then, you wouldn't have to depend so much on your physical body. I wouldn't dare to think of that. Such a person is rare throughout the entire human race. The students discussed it with each other. Half of the students in the class were only at tier point four and tier point five. Some of them were still on tier point three, and only a minority of them had a cultivation base of tier point six or above. Even so, although they had yet to reach tier point six, they would definitely get there in the future. They would not lose anything if they learned this martial skill now. Watch me. Qin Wu roared. He clenched five fingers into a fist and threw a punch. Circulate energy all over your body and use all of your muscles. The first technique, luring the tiger. When he threw the punch, his aura changed entirely and there was a series of explosive sounds. It was as if he had transformed into a ferocious tiger. Second technique, earth, shattering roar. Third technique, ferocious tiger's head spin. Fourth technique, ferocious tiger's heart plow. None of you can learn the last technique. You'll have to open up your chi si and get to the chi si stage to learn this, king of the jungle. The students were dizzy from watching Qin Wu's series of movements. He did not stop waving his hands. It was really like a savage beast leaping off a mountain and capturing people. Chu Yunfan could even sense an energy passing by his face, painfully slapping his cheeks. Thinking to himself, he felt that martial skills were indeed powerful. One's initial ability could be elevated by 120% or even 200% through martial skills. The greater the skill, the greater the boost. He had the alchemy emperor's memories in his head, and there were some compelling martial skills in it. The Mighty Emperor Battle Book especially had many martial skills with terrifying power recorded in it. However, the catch was he could only use them when he had the required capacity. Such formidable martial skills would drain one's blood essence. Even if he forced himself to use them, he would exhaust his blood essence immediately. He would shrivel up like a dried mummy and die. Therefore, the devilish tiger punch martial skill was the most suitable one for him at the moment. Chu Yunfan felt like he had gone into a mysterious state. As he stared unblinkingly at Qin Wu, it was like his coach's movements were being recorded with a video camera and were replaying in his head repeatedly. He felt he had learned a little more after every replay. When Qin Wu performed it the third time, he realized that he had preliminarily mastered the devilish tiger punch. However, he kept that to himself and did not say it out loud. That's all for my demonstration. I'll send the devilish tiger punch demo video to all of your mailboxes after class. You guys can practice it on your own, but don't do it too frequently. It exhausts your physical energy. Qin Wu said, now I need one of you to demonstrate. Is there anyone who has mastered it? Sir, I've mastered it. At that moment, Feng Deng raised his hand and stood up, looking quite full of himself. Qin Wu nodded and said, sure, give it a try. Feng Deng showed his stance and roared, luring the tiger. Earth, shattering roar. Ferocious tiger's head spin. Ferocious tiger's heart plow. Feng Deng demonstrated four techniques, but he did not do the last one, king of the jungle. The reason being it took too much of a toll on one's body, so one could only perform it at the Qi C stage. Although Feng Deng was already on tier point nine physical stage, which was a step away from the Qi C stage, he was not quite there yet. His movements were swift and extremely smooth. Not bad, not bad. I supposed you got a private tutor to teach you the devilish tiger punch before. Qin Wu said. The rest of the students looked as expected. Modern society was unfair like that. Feng Deng might have been practicing martial skills that the less privileged students were only just getting the chance to learn. That's right. 
My private martial arts coach told me that the devilish tiger punch is the most powerful of the few widespread martial skills. However, it takes a toll on the body. Regular people can't cultivate it, but it's different for me. I'm a genius, so the devilish tiger punch suits me best. Feng Dang said arrogantly. Your private coach has great taste. Indeed, the devilish tiger punch is the most powerful of the basic martial skills. It's difficult for regular people to learn it, but it has the highest value. Its power is considered exceptional even when one gets to the Qi C stage. Qin Wu explained why he taught the devilish tiger punch. You must have studied it for a few months, seeing that you've gotten to the competent stage. You've got amazing comprehension. Qin Wu looked at Feng Dang. He then turned to the rest of the class and said, This is a great opportunity to teach you guys about the stage categories for martial skills. The first one would be the elementary stage. You will achieve this stage when you've just learned it and managed to perform the entire set of techniques. When you can perform it smoothly at will and combine the techniques freely, you'll be at the competent stage. By then, you'll be considered to have cultivated the martial skills successfully. After the competent stage would be the impeccable stage. When a martial skill is cultivated to this stage, it's the limit an ordinary person can achieve. You're just reaching the essence of the fist. My cultivation of the devilish tiger punch is at this stage. The impeccable stage is followed by the perfection stage. People who are at this stage would have cultivated the martial skill vigorously. It's rare that one can cultivate a popular punching technique such as the devilish tiger punch to the perfection stage. If 100,000 people were to cultivate it, it's possible that not even one will reach perfection. Of course, it has to do with the cultivators eventually switching to the cultivation of other martial skills. Qin Wu taught the students about the stages of martial skill cultivation. The four stages were the elementary stage, the competent stage, the impeccable stage, and the perfection stage. Chu Yunfan thought about the four stages of martial skill cultivation Qin Wu had detailed. He could not believe that he had entered the competent stage. Feng Dang had cultivated it for several months and was still at the same stage. Given that he had achieved the same thing, such efficiency was simply stunning. Coach, I think demonstrating alone can't showcase the devilish tiger punch's capabilities. I want to get a classmate to spar with me. Feng Dang suddenly exclaimed. Yes, only real battles can improve one further. Qin Wu nodded. Everyone had their eyes on Tang Siyu and Gao Hongji. With Feng Dang's strength, Tang Siyu and Gao Hongji were the only ones in the class who would be a match for him. However, what surprised everyone was that Feng Dang walked straight to Chu Yunfan and said, Fellow Chu Yunfan, let's spar. Gao Hongji jumped out immediately and said, Class monitor, aren't you being a bully by doing this? You know that Yunfan only has a tier 6 cultivation base. He merely embarrassed you in class in the morning. Must you hold on to a grudge like this? Gao Hongji and Feng Dang were old rivals, so they had hated each other for two years. Naturally, he could see why Feng Dang was targeting Chu Yunfan. He knew very well that, on the surface, class monitor Feng Dang was class 11's Prince Charming. In reality, he was petty, whereby he would take revenge on people who crossed him. Feng Dang's face showed nothing after he was called out. He merely stared at Chu Yunfan and said, Fellow Chu Yun Fan, do you not have the courage? We're just sparring. I can suppress my power to be on tier point six like you. How's that? Shameless. Gao Hongji thought to himself. Although Feng Dang could limit his power to tier point six, he was actually at tier point nine. He had refined his body more than Chu Yun Fan had. It seemed fair, but in reality, it was not at all. Fellow Chu Yun Fan, underprivileged students like yourself might not have learned martial skills before. I happen to be able to give you some pointers in cultivating the devilish tiger punch. It'd be the equivalent to hiring a private coach. Do you know how much a lesson with a private coach costs? 
It's worth a month's salary for parents of poor people like you. Feng Dang could tell that Chu Yun Fan was cornered, so he proceeded to speak with mockery on his face. Initially, Chu Yun Fan did not want to argue with him. However, he had crossed a line by being so aggressive and even brought up his parents. How could that be tolerated? Stop your nonsense. Let's spar. Chu Yun Fan stepped out and said. Yun Fan, he's obviously taking a shot at you. You're at a disadvantage. Gao Hongji said. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Chu Yun Fan nodded. His expression was extremely determined. Meanwhile, standing at the side, Qin Wu merely nodded slightly when he saw what was happening. He did not plan to interfere. 